Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to go on a little photo walk. It's quite overcast outside, not great weather at all. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to be using my Canon M50 with my 18 to 300 millimeter lens on it. And um, I'm going to set it up in JPEG, black and white, and I'm going to put it on full auto. Um, I'm also not going to edit the images at all. So um, I'm going to be just your average person out taking photos. Um, it's not something I would normally do. I normally shoot in RAW because um, I, I quite like to edit and have the pictures look how I want them to. Um, but today I'm letting Canon choose the style of image. Um, obviously I'm going to solely be looking at composition and um, anything that catches my eye really. So um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so um, here are the images that I took. Um, I'm doing it a little bit differently. Um, I was going to do it POV, but um, I decided not to in the end. Um, I actually went out with my daughter. She took some images as well. So I'm just going to go through um, the images that I got. Now, I, I took them JPEG. Um, I've not edited them at all. Um, and the camera was set on autofocus and on full auto. Um, so, yeah, uh, I just wanted to see um, what the camera does um, if left to its own, own devices. Um, I've tried shooting RAW um, before. Um, I've done a, a video uh, on shooting, um, not RAW, JPEG. I've done a video before where I've shot JPEG um, just to see the, the difference between shooting RAW and JPEG. But what I found was I still ended up editing the JPEG as well because I wasn't overly happy with them. Um, but this time I've done no editing Everything was on auto, the focus, as I've, as I've said, everything was on auto. So let's have a look at the images. Now, this particular image, um, it was the first one I took. A um, couple of people walking off um, in front of me. I think it's done an all right job. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. I mean, they're... They're not overly sharp, are they? I think the the it focused more in the foreground here, um, but yeah, I mean it's not too bad. I'd probably crop in a little bit, um, but it is what it is. Um, it's not a bad first shot, I don't think. So let's move on to the next one. Right, these I, I remember these. Um, for some reason, the camera just would not focus on them. Um, it focused on the foreground. It focused on the stanchions along the side here. But it wouldn't focus on these. Now, I, I had the camera set for focusing on people's faces. Um, like face recognition or whatever it is. Um, and continuous focus, basically. Um, but yeah, it totally missed focus on these. Um, even as they got a bit closer, it still wasn't focusing on them. So obviously, if I was doing it, um, I'd have probably had it on single shot focus. Um, and I'd have probably made sure that I'd got them in focus. Because obviously they, they are the main subject, but... They're out of focus, um, so the camera, it's a point against the camera on that one. Now this one, this one's better, I feel. 
Um, the cyclist is obviously the main subject. Um, I'll probably crop in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, his sharp, um, the foreground sharp, bit of blur in the background for a bit of depth. Um, I think the camera done all right with, with that one. Um, now this one is my daughter. Uh, she took out my Fuji Finepix HS20. Um, it's got her totally sharp. Um, I think it's a nice image. Um, I'll probably adjust the, again the contrast and the highlights a little bit. But the background's blurry and she's in focus so no complaints there. And the same with this one. I'd probably um, lower the exposure a little bit. Um, it's probably about all really. But yeah, it's not a bad shot really. I think the camera done all right with that one. Um, so at the moment I'm sort of thinking that portraits, <laughs> it's fine. Full auto, it's fine. Um, but... Any sort of movement or anything like that, it, it doesn't seem to be able to handle it. Um, each one of these, they're, you know, my daughter's sharp in it, so I think the camera done all right with them. Now, the, the fisherman, these next couple of images, I'm not quite sure what the camera has got against fishermen. Right? Um, Obviously, the fisherman is the main subject, but the camera decided that it was going to focus on the shingle in fr in front, right? So, obviously, everything else is out of focus, so it's totally misfocused there. Again, totally misfocused, just focusing on the shingle for some reason. But, but, um. When the fisherman bent down to do whatever fisherman things he was doing, um, it decided to focus. As you can see, the, his back's in focus, the rods are in focus, the shingles are, um, blurred. So if he, if he was stood up, that, that would be a nice shot. But for some reason, he bent down and it focused. And again, this is a different fisherman. And um, again, out of focus, but the shingle's in focus. So I'm not quite sure what the camera's got against fishermen. Um, so this lady, um, I was planning on just shooting black and white, but um, the camera, I didn't realise um, when you turn it off and back on again, it defaults back to colour. So... Um, this particular lady, uh, walking through the alleyway, I thought she was quite interesting with, with her backpack and whatever, going through the um, Twitten. I've got a couple of shots of her. Um, now this one, I, I actually quite like this one. Um, it's black and white. Again, I'd probably lower the um, exposure a little bit. Um, Bring in a bit more contrast in there um, but overall it's not a bad shot um, you obviously you've got the stairs there she's heading towards the stairs and this one I'm not quite sure what she was doing there but um, it, I find this one quite an interesting shot really um, there's a little bit of blur in the background but from what I can tell she's yeah not totally sharp but better than the fisherman now don't forget these are all JPEG as well, no editing. Um, we got to the, the fairground. Um, it was getting quite, you know, it was getting dark. It wasn't dark, but it was getting dark, if you know what I mean. Um, I think it's done all right. All right. I mean, there, there's a little bit of movement there. Um, a little bit of a light trail, obviously, I w ideally, and I think I did... Um, take a little bit of a longer exposure purely because I wanted to capture the ride. Um, this one, 
obviously you can see the motion um, again it, it's a little bit blown out this one obviously the colors are a little bit flat um, I think there's a little bit of noise creeping in there because it was getting darker but um, I'm quite happy with the image itself um, although she's not totally sharp um, I think that's more to do with the camera putting the ISO up as opposed to the autofocus but all in all not a bad shot you can see her clearly so so she wanted she was going off to do a TikTok and um, so this is her dancing to her TikTok so it's a bit of movement then um, again the colors are flat and um, but it's done a good job on freezing her so yeah I, I can't complain too much obviously um, when you people that take photos in JPEG full auto and all the rest of it um, I would hazard a guess that nine times out of ten they're not even amateur photographers it's just purely you know you've got a camera you, you're capturing the moment um, so that, that's what this is really and I think the camera's done a right job with that and um, again with this one no motion on it no motion blur it's totally frozen it um, it's relatively sharp con considering um, the ISO so yeah I'm quite happy with that I actually quite like that shot as well so so we went out um, the following evening as well and um, my daughter actually noticed this ship out to sea so I thought well, I'll see if I can get it so I zoomed in 300mm which on this crop sensor I'm not too sure what that goes up to I'm not too sure I'm sure someone will do the, the maths and work it out um, but I think it's not done a bad job actually I mean I'm, I'm zoomed right in on this as, as you can see so yeah it, it's pretty sharp there's a bit of noise but it, like I say it was getting dark and this one is the landscape uh, version um, I prefer this one um, purely because it's it's more over to the left and is heading into the frame into the shot as opposed to out of it um, again you can clearly see the the wind farm again I'd probably crop it down a little bit but um, it's relatively sharp again so yeah I can't complain at that one and this little fishing boat, um, I just spotted him on, on the bobbing about out there. To be fair, it's not a bad shot. Um, I would probably crop it down. Although, well, if I zoom in, I would probably crop it down a little bit. Again, just to change the composition. But the, I, I think the camera's done all right there with the focus and everything again we're, we're back to fisherman camera doesn't like fisherman uh, <laughs> what can I say loves the shingle doesn't like the fisherman so I've no idea why um, it chose to expose onto the shingle but it, I did finally get a shot of the fisherman um, I don't know quite what he's doing there but I quite like this shot actually because You've got the fisherman obviously has come on his bike um, you've got the city in the background there um, I, I just think it is quite a nice shot um, if I was going to edit it um, I'd probably brighten it up a little bit because it does look a bit flat maybe bring the blues up a little bit um, just I don't know I'd play around with it until I was happy but because it, it just looks a bit flat for me um, 
but it's not a bad shot. Now this one, um, what I actually wanted was these these people here, and uh, I was hoping to catch some colour in the sunset, but again, the camera focused on these stanchions here and put everything out of focus and it didn't really capture the light that was coming through. So again, that's not a keeper. Uh, this guy, um, I wanted to get the reflection, which I've got. Um, he is a little bit out of focus, but the in the puddle he's in focus. So I suppose the camera's done an all right job there you know obviously i would rather both of them be in focus but you know when when you're relying on the gear solely i suppose you can you can't expect the world now this one what i was trying to achieve with this one is what i wanted to get the sun the sunset in the background and i wanted to get the reflection of the cyclist and I wanted to try and get a little, a little bit of um, colour reflecting in the water, um, which uh, there is a little hint of it there. Obviously, if I was editing it, I would bring it out. If I shot raw, I, I would be able to really um, make that come out. Um, but I'm not, not editing it. This, this is straight out of camera JPEG. So. To be fair, it's not a bad shot. Um, could be better, but could be worse. So yeah, um, that that was the images. I mean, let me know what you think of them. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the images and how well the, the camera did um, with those shots. Um, like I say, it did miss focus an awful lot, uh, which is unfortunate. I thought, you know, Canon, with it being a Canon M50, I actually thought it would perform a lot better um, with the focus than it did, but um, it didn't, you know. I mean, it, it got some all right shots. The colours in it are fine. If I was editing, I could even even the JPEG. If I was editing the JPEG, I could probably bring those colours out a little bit more. Um, but they are what they are. Um, will I continue to shoot JPEG? Possibly in the future, depending on what I'm doing. Um, if I go out to do street photography, um, then possibly because. Um, no, probably not, to be fair. I'll, pro I'll probably just go back to shooting raw. Because uh, the reason being is when... If I've got to edit a JPEG to make it how I want it, I may as well edit the raw and get the full file size there and get it exactly how I want it. Um, so, yeah, I, I probably won't shoot JPEG. Um, will I let the camera take full control of focus no um what i normally do is i normally have the camera on one shot focus and um although i i i've not mastered the back button focusing i have been practicing it i'm i think i'm getting better with it um so yeah but the the thing that i like about the one shot focus is I can focus where I want to focus. Okay, I miss sometimes, um, but more often than not, I, I'm getting what I want in focus. Um, whereas, I mean, for instance, the, those fishermen, um, I'd have got them in focus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but what, what can you do? Um, so yeah, for me, shoot raw um, and have a little bit of control o over the camera. Don't rely on the camera because the camera misses. Um, if, I, if I was shooting raw in full auto, 
I might try that in another video actually shoot raw in, in full auto but I can try over the autofocus um, and where, where the camera focuses um, as for letting the camera dictate shut speed and things like that um, I think it purely depends on what you're shooting and the time of day later in the day in order to bring the ISO down you want a longer shutter speed really um, because I, I think the, the ISO on some of these shots was pff, through the roof and as you can see from some of them they're quite noisy and that, that just wasn't great um, but yeah I mean I hope you enjoyed the video please do like subscribe leave a comment below what you think of the uh, photographs and uh, leave a comment below how you shoot, whether you shoot RAW, JPEG, whether what um, you do with the camera, what settings you use and stuff like that. Uh, what's your preferred way of shooting? Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.